Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard. I'm going to talk to you today about a very powerful herb called Tulsi or holy basil, one of Ayurveda's most powerful herbs. And for thousands of years, which was interesting, is it was never allowed to be eaten because it was so sacred. And it was only recently that they began to really discover the potency of this herb when taken internally. It was used to, to purify uh, temples and holy places. They would grind up the, the, the wood, the stems, and make beads out of them. Uh, they would, every home in India grew their own Tulsi because they would use it in their religious ceremonies. It was the sacred herb called the queen of herbs, the mother of nature's medicine, uh, the incomparable one, had these very lofty names about the power of this particular herb. Now, as a medicine, it's one of the herbs that you could say is second to none in terms of its so broad spectrum of qualities. It has a very unique blend of, of herbal constituents and volatile oils. Volatile oils means that they dissipate, like perfumes, they dissipate out of when you dry the herb. You, buy, you take an herb and after a few days, it smells beautiful when it's fresh and it doesn't smell like much anymore. Those are the volatile oils. And Tulsi has some of the most powerful chemicals are in its volatile oils. So the problem with getting the full dose of Tulsi, unless you're eating it right out of the ground and making a tea out of it or eating it right then and there, is that a lot of the real powerful constituents dissipate out of the air. So you have to either eat it fresh, make a tea out of it fresh, or you have to use it as a extract. A critical extract will actually save these volatile oils. And what I like, prefer, because I'm a big fan of whole herbs, as you know, is half the formula whole herbs and half the formula the, the extract. So you get everything, so you get the full spectrum of that herb. So you capture those really potent volatile oils. And that's what's sort of special about, about uh, Tulsi is that the volatile oils seem to be the most powerful part of it. Although the whole herb part is where all the microbes are, and there's also lots of biochemical intelligence there as well. But as we know, when you take foods or, or plants out of the earth, they're carrying an incredible amount, millions of bacteria that are actually providing chemical support for the herb, and then therefore they become our microbiome. So you don't want to extract them and soak them in alcohol and destroy those microbes. So in this way, and the formula that I use is a combination of both. Eugenol, for example, is one of those, one of the many volatile oils, which is very, very, uh, very, very powerful and supports many of the health benefits of Tulsi. Uh, one of the, the major aspects of Tulsi is its adaptogenic properties. Being an adaptogen means it helps the body cope with stress. It helps the body have endurance under stress. It helps detoxify the body in an environmental stressful situation, toxic chemicals, for example, radiation, for example. Um, it's been shown to support mood health and, and cognitive function in studies. It's been shown to stabilize blood pressure, blood sugar, and even blood, uh, blood fats or lipids um, when under stress in the body. These are powerful ways that we have to learn how to, we, that we cope uh, with stress in our body. And we know stress is the major cause of imbalance and problems that we experience. And having something like an adaptogen like Tulsi to support all these systems is just a really uh, powerful tool for our health and for warding off stress, and particularly Tulsi, warding off toxic environments or toxic exposures or chemical stress, that's one of the, and also I'd have to say mood and energy and vitality and cognitive support as well. One of the, uh, the, the effects of uh, the ursolic the, the acid in it, which is one of the other constituents in it, has actually been patented for skin care been shown to support the health of the skin, the elasticity of the skin, the vitality of the skin, and not just the skin on the outside, it's patented for cosmetic use and for cosmetics, but it's also really good for the inner skin, which lines the respiratory tract and the intestinal tract. And there are many, many studies that I write about in the article associated with this video that show that the, the Tulsi is really beneficial for the respiratory tract, and that might be one of its original uses. It's a kapha-reducing herb. It gets rid of kapha and congestion out of the lungs, and there's been support and good studies uh, behind that. Also supports the health and function of your intestinal tract and 
the microbiology. So I wanted to introduce this herb to you. It's a really powerful herb. We think of it as a tea sometimes, but the reality is that a dry tea doesn't have the volatile oils. You really want to get the full benefit of Tulsi. You got to capture those volatiles and the constituents together, and then it's like eating the fresh plant, the fresh herb itself. Please read this article. It's pretty amazing, this plant. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Ron Garrett. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John DeYard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.